Hello everyone, today we're playing Hero Wars and we're going to be talking about Yasmin. Yasmin is very strong mid game. Um, her ultimate ability Yasmin paralyzes the last enemy who attacked her for 3 seconds, appears behind their back, hits 7 times, and applies the assassin's mark. While Dance of Death is active, Yasmin is immune to debuffs. When it ends, she returns to the previous position and continues attacking the marked enemy with basic attacks. One hit damage is... Um... 40% physical attack, plus level times 40, I believe, yeah. Level times 40. Her green ability, when Dance of Death is activated, Yasmin's critical hit chance and dodge are increased for 10 seconds. Extra critical hit chance and dodge. 40% physical attack plus 40 times level. Plus 500 I believe. This, this one, is ridiculous. That's 12,000 critical hit chance and dodge. She's not going to get hit by physical attacks virtually. Embrace of Pain. Yasmin's critical hits poison the enemy. When poison is reapplied to a poisoned enemy, the duration of the poison debuff is refreshed, and the damage stacks up to 10 times. This one is also ridiculous. Every time she crits them, she applies one poison debuff, which deals 33% physical attack plus level times like 30, yeah. And so, yeah, one. If she crits them once, she'll deal now 4,000, let's just say 4,000, so not 4,000, 9,500 damage. And if she hits them again, and it's a critical hit, she, all the damage, sorry, it's hard to, the poison, there's a bar above the enemy that appears when she crits them that has marks available and if she crits them once there's 10 and it's slowly and there's a bar below it showing the duration of the poison that is, it's five seconds total and it slowly goes down and so every time she crits the enemy the countdown bar is reset and another poison buff is a debuff is applied me making each tick making each like poison tick deal more damage. So if she crit them three times, that'd be doing 28,000 damage. And because of her dance of death hitting seven times with absurd crit chance, that's like another 65,000 damage in addition to the main damage 77,000 times two, 144,000 because of crits. And finally, Unknown Toxin blocks a portion of healing received by enemies poisoned by Yasmin. 20% physical attack plus, like, level times 30-ish. That's per heal, which means several things. A, she virtually ignores Oliver's sh shield, because it blocks, because while it blocks physical attacks, it'll be, she'll be still hitting them. And B, once she assassinates someone, all these combine to they're pretty much screwed, because they can't heal effectively, they're getting poisoned, and she's still attacking them. And... Yeah, let's see. The one thing that Yasmin doesn't have is armor penetration. She kind of like has some because of Fenris, which gives her some armor penetration. So that's why she fades out later in the game, because she doesn't go through armor. And Yasmin's really strong, but her main counter is Helios. Helios. In specific, Helios' Violet skill. While the Solar Wind is active, each time Helios' allies get critically hit, the Flaming Sphere might damage the attacker with a Fire Beam. Retaliation damage, 75% magic attack, plus level times 150, plus 6,000. This is a whole lot of magical attack, because Yasmin does not have that much health. And... Solar Wind is this ability. Summons an invulnerable flaming sphere, dealing damage to nearby enemies for over time for 10 seconds. That's actually damage per second, so that also hurts Yasmin a lot, and that's there virtually the entire time. Starbirth spawns three spheres, 
natural damage, hurts the ass and it hits the front line. Summons two protective spheres at the center of your team. The spheres protect nearby allies by absorbing magical, by absorbing physical damage dealt to them. Physical damage? That's Yasmin. Yasmin is pretty much purely physical damage. And so, for example, one second. If there's a Helios versus a Yasmin, this probably will go differently because my Yasmin is strong in comparison to but let's see. If there's a Helios and a Yasmin, once she gets her spear up, if Yasmin won't kill everyone instantly first, that sphere. Now when she crits, she gets hit for a lot of magical damage. If she could crit, that would be nice. She doesn't want to crit them. There she could have. She got hit with magical damage. She's 9,000. It does a lot. But, it's more powerful, obviously, if you invest in Helios. So, yes, and again. I want her to not, like, instantly kill all of them, so you can see. In fact, I should probably put a stronger tank up. First, like, say... Chava. And then we add Helios, and some other guys. Like that. And so we're gonna... Do Yasmin again, and now we're gonna see, because Trap is my main tank, so he's gonna let Helios get his ability up. Yasmin is virtually dodging everything except for Chaba, because Chaba is much stronger than anything else. So now, whenever she's gonna crit Chaba, she'll take a lot of damage. Now my Helios is probably weak enough that I could just, yeah, do that and kill her in one hit. but. The point is, she could do a lot of damage, and Chaba can swallow her and deal pure damage, which she again cannot touch. So yeah, that was Yasmin. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe, and goodbye.